I well, hope you guys are ready for a uh, treasure hunting adventure. Today we're going to do a hike along the river and maybe a creek or two looking for, well, anything we can find that's adventure. Stuff that might have gotten washed down in floods. We're going to look for Civil War stuff, coins, arrowheads. I found them all here. I have about half a dozen places I like to go every spring. And this is my first stop this year. So hopefully this won't be the end of my river hunts. It's too cold to get in the water right now, by the way. Um, I mean, the rivers are still kind of high, although it was pretty clear, um, but it's just really freaking cold. <laughs> so it'll be another month or so before I really start getting in. But what we're gonna do is walk along and just look at the, uh, look for animal tracks, look for stuff that washed up in floods and these like these big piles. And I know we're gonna find some relics this year because we've had some massive floods this winter. Uh, first time in several years we've had such big floods, so. I know we're gonna find stuff. I don't even think I can jinx myself. I came out here and I turned my camera on to make this video and it said no SD card. And like I cursed and cussed and stomped up and down, tore through my bag and lucked out in that I had another camera in there that happened to have an SD card that fits in this one. So <laughs> I guess I could have used the other camera now that I think of it, but we're gonna use this one. First thing I see walking along, this is the very beginning we have tons of spots to check today and over the course of the next week or two see some melted glass lots of round river stones we're going to be looking for arrowheads tommy hawks all kinds of stuff you wonder why that was chipped like that huh nice and flat on one side could have been a grinder that looks like an old sign of some sort and what we're going to do is we're going to scoot along and we're not going to go into the water but we're going to look on the rocks and all in the nooks and crannies Oh, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna find stuff today. I can feel it in my bones. Of course, I always say that. All right, I won't turn the camera on again until I see something of interest. I promise. All right, so here's how we're gonna handle it, okay? I'm gonna walk along looking for stuff. When I find something, an artifact of interest, I'm gonna turn the camera on, kind of let you stare at it a little bit. I want to see if you can figure out what I'm looking at. Um, and then I'll zoom in on it and I'll, tell, I'll show you what I'm looking at and tell you what it is or what I think it might be. Now, I might interrupt all that once in a while to look at a goose or something, like a, a wily track of an opossum or something, but it's mainly going to be camera on, something to look at, zoom, pick up, identify. How many do you get right? How many can you see before I start zooming in on it? That's going to be the question. Honor system, gentlemen and gals. Well, gentlemen and gals, that doesn't make any sense. Guys and gals, gentlemen and ladies, there you go. Got one right behind me, do you see it? No, you don't, because it's over there. That's the first one. All right, here's the first one. It's an easy one. Do you see it? Sure you do. <laughs> I won't do that every time, I promise. That's a lock, not a terribly old one, but our first artifact of the day. I'd say we're kind of still skunked, but not totally skunked. We want one thing Civil War and one coin and one Indian artifact before the day is out. I'm gonna show you this, this is really cool. Um, I didn't make a hide and seek one on this one because it's a great big old thing, but that's some type of tool, I would guess. It's old, look at the head of it, but it's got that spade. Well, maybe it's just a big spike with a spade head on it, but that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna carry that out though because it's quite heavy and we have a long way to go. Yeah, look at that water. We'll be in there soon, I promise you. Now, I promise I won't say, do you see it? Do ya? <laughs> I'm realizing that this could be a very short video because if I don't actually see something really good, I got nothing to show you. So um, we're gonna modify the rules a little bit and I might show you things that aren't that cool, but that I find of interest but it's still artifacts. Okay, number two. Sorry. You see it? Right there. That's pretty cool, I think. That's, uh, I do believe that's an Orlock. You know, they would go in a rowboat. I could be mistaken, but I think that would go down in a, into a slot or a uh, like some type of iron ring, maybe pinned, or goes in there. It can row back and forth across the river creek. I'm pretty sure that's what it is and uh, I'm gonna save that one just to give you an idea I am seeing tons of artifacts lots of nails they're scattered everywhere in here but I'm not seeing 
um, you know, really cool artifacts, except for the lock, uh, lock, <laughs> or lock, yeah, that's what it is. This is a can you see it clip, it's a good one. You can always stop the frame if you want to keep looking, but we're going to zoom in, ready? Right. There. It's a mini ball. Looky. <laughs> wow. That's been fired. Give her a little bath. If you look, you can see there's a little bit of rifling marks on it, so it's definitely been fired, but that is a Civil War mini ball. Well, a mini ball from the American Civil War, 1860s. Sweet. If you guys see other things in the screen that I might have missed, let me know because I can come back anytime. So I'm not that far from home. <laughs> oh, it seems like a long ways today. Oh, we didn't get skunked. That's good. Okay, next one. I can you see a clip if I can find something. There's another can you see it. Now, this one isn't amazing, but I like it and I'll show you why. This. I do believe is where they were pouring bullets, like if not many balls, maybe a little pistol shots and stuff. And I think that's the end of the sprue right there. Could be wrong. You know, underneath that would have been a bullet they snipped off. And I also found a fired uh, mini ball. I do believe that's a mini ball. I didn't show it to you on camera because I wasn't sure that's what it was. I thought it was just a sinker maybe, but um, yeah, I hope you saw that. I think that's number three. Ooh, I missed that one. Lucky. <laughs> Some lead. <laughs> So easy to miss stuff. Can't tell if that's fired uh, 22 bullet just melted lead. Um, yeah, I guarantee you'll see things that I won't see today. It's just the way it is. All right, let's go to number four, I do believe. Could be off by now, though. I'm not gonna do a, can oh, <laughs> I should have. So I'm not gonna do a can you see it because I don't really see anything, but I do actually. What I was gonna show you is this giant oyster shell. So we know that there was a house or something here. People were sitting down here eating oysters. This is a great place to look because when the river floods, it comes up and the water gets in these branches and it kind of stirs it up and takes away the silt. That's why I stopped. And you see there's a couple more, well, there's another oyster right there. I see a nail over there. Don't really see any artifacts yet. You might see some artifacts, I don't. But what I did see when I just turned the camera on is this thing. This is a giant piece, well, for around here anyway, of uh, Indian pottery, Woodland Indian. I've never found a piece <laughs> this big around here. That's a big old pot of some kind. So, you know, back 500 you know, or 1,000 years ago, maybe more, maybe less, uh, they were down here along the river uh, using their pots. Probably had a big fire up there. You can see that, you can see like there's river stones in there. A lot of times you'll see shells. The pattern on the outside, that's something they put on there. I'm not exactly sure why. A lot of times they would just take vegetation and sticks and kind of stick it to it and it makes a weird pattern. That looks almost like striations, but that's definitely a big old piece of Indian pottery. That looks like it might be part of a blade right there. Did you see it? <laughs> that could be not a blade though. Uh, but that is definitely a cool little artifact right there. And the giant oyster shell. Man, this is awesome. Not exactly a can you see it thing, but I'll show you a goose nest. You hear mama down there, she just went running off through the woods. Look at those giant eggs. They're huge compared to my hand. The first one I've seen this year. I have found a few things I'm gonna show you, but wait till we get another, you know, can you see it thing. Then I'll show you. I can't I can't put everything on camera uh, because I pick up a lot of stuff. I pick up probably 12 or 20 things uh, between every time I turn on the camera. Most of them are junk, but occasionally there's something. I got a couple little knickknacks I'll show you in just a minute. This isn't exactly a can you see it, um, but I wanted to show you this since we're, you know, I don't have a lot of can you see it clips yet. Look at all the rocks here, they look kind of like they're burned. And you see this area is all washed out, so I'm kind of looking where the washouts are. And I came up, you know, I'm looking for bullets and buttons and anything else I can find. I came up across here and i saw something that looks like it might be an arrowhead now i didn't pick it up yet or spear point or knife point i didn't pick it up because i wanted you to see it too but i'm suspicious about that one what do you think yeah it's gotta be <laughs> of course it is oh yeah absolutely 100 percent. so there's a big old blade of some sort not an arrowhead it's way too big 
Could be a knife blade. Would have been hafted right there. And they could use it for cutting stuff or a spear point. Uh, or other, some type of jabbing point. Definitely an American, North American Indian artifact. It goes nicely with that pottery we found. So this could be an old Indian, uh, you know, old campsite with these burned stones all through here. Not seeing a lot of chips, but we're going to keep looking. I just said I didn't see any uh, chips and just up the hill from there. And that's definitely a chip. So that's where they were working stone. See there's some nails in here too. That's where they were flaking tools in here. And it uh, just looks like a lot of stuff was going on. Here's some big pieces of quartz. Which is a little bit unusual out here. I mean, not like crazy unusual, but we'll definitely check out any more of those we see. Make sure they're not points. A lot of burned stone in here. I guess they were probably camped on this little hill right here. All right, I'm going to turn the camp. Well, let me show you what I found real quick so far so I can put it away. <laughs> it's in my pocket right now. Just real quick, here's a couple interesting things I wanted to show you. Uh, of course, a little bone, which you've already seen some other bones. This is a, uh, a blob of melted lead that's probably from where they may have been making bullets, like that one I showed you with a sprue. Um, that was close to where I found that. A couple modern bullets. I've actually found a whole bunch of those, but I just saved a couple for you to see. And again, you can tell they're modern because if you look in that ring, you can see those little hatch marks go up and down. Both of them have it. This, um, well, that's pretty new, but I picked it up to show you anyway. This, though, I think is actually pretty cool. I think this might be uh, a really cool artifact from, like, the colonial era. I want to say it's part of a ramrod holder, maybe, but I'm not positive on that. So we're going to leave that one up in the air, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be colonial way before the Civil War. All right, let's keep going. Nice looking ground here, but I'm not really seeing anything, and I haven't found anything to show you in a long time. There's a poor old land tortoise that died, in, probably got in the flood and drowned. Yeah, I shouldn't pick him up, should I? <laughs> probably all rotted in there. No, it's the shell. Poor little dude. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, when they're on the uh, crawling around in the woods and the river comes up, they can't really get away very fast. Especially if they're like you know, hibernating or in torpor in the winter time. Man, I just don't see anything good. Lots of nails and some broken glass and bricks, but that's it. The ball moving, nothing to see here. Well, that was very unpleasant. I'm just cruising. Well, what's that? I'm just cruising along. I walked through here and uh, come to look at this high chair, which is actually very high. And something got down my back of my neck from my shirt and stung the heck out of me. Don't know why. Didn't see anything. What do you think? High chair? <laughs> That's a pretty high chair right there. Uh, let's keep moving. Uh, Might have been ground bees. I don't know, but I didn't see any more. But man, that one got me. Ah, there he is. Probably a little ground bee of some sort. I don't think that's the one that got me. It's probably his buddy, but we'll get rid of him pretty quick. Won't we? Probably stepped in a nest over there by that tree. More bones. Not gonna say it, I promise. Nothing about being human. <laughs> well, there's what the answer is. It's a, a deer. That's a lower jawbone. We do find a lot of dead deer out here, don't we? Let's see if we can skirt by Miss Goosey there on the nest. Without disturbing her. Look at her. Being quiet. Yeah, I don't think I bothered her one bit. Alright, let's keep going. Across the creek. It's not too deep. Oh yeah, that's too deep. <laughs> I only have hip waders today. I was just getting ready to take the camera out and say that I've been looking for hours and have not found anything, but this is a can you see it clip. First one in a long time, because I have not seen much, but apparently there's something right in the... Is that it? No. Let's go look. I'll zoom in for you. I had to adjust the camera just a little bit. Sorry about that. You can see there's a lot of, uh, a lot of broken glass and square nails, but right there, I hope you saw that. That is a Civil War bullet. That's a pistol bullet. Been fired. I reckon that's a Colt um, Dragoon. 
could be mistaken, but it's definitely a Civil War pistol bullet. There's probably more in here. I just, uh, he sees all kinds of stuff and the bank's washed out good, but that's the only one I've seen so far. Can you see it? Not a great one, but it's a find right there. This is actually a uh, modern or more modern fired bullet. It's definitely post-Civil War. It could be, you know, 1800s, could be 1900, but it's a bullet. Just not seeing a whole lot of other things in here. Well, there's a big old square nail. <laughs> I guess I could have done a did. Can you see it on that one? But it's not good enough, is it? Uh, little bones, I think they're bird bones. No uh, dollar gold coins yet. The day's not over. Do you see it? Right here. A little bit nervous about it though, because it's a big piece of broken glass. It looks just like the same color. Oh, it's broken right there too. Nice cork top bottle, but it's all smashed up, unfortunately. A whiskey bottle, that's a flask. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and find a decent one down here. What do you think? I hope so. Do you see it? I'm not talking about this bottle that I kicked out, but something I saw immediately afterward. Ready? It's right here. <laughs> that, my friend, is a four hole porcelain button. That could be old. I mean, that could be Civil War, but I think it's probably turn of the century. Give or take a few decades. But we'll take it on a day like today. It's a big old iron spike too. So there's stuff in the area right here. You see it? I'm not sure it's in the frame, but it's right here. <laughs> it's an old te uh, telegraph insulator. That's an old insulator for uh, probably like along a railroad or something. Probably washed down here on the uh, line, telephone pole. Not a very old one though, because it's clear, but I have been finding some pretty cool pottery right along here. I got this old bottle top. That would have been a beauty. Okay, there's another one down there. Do you see it? It's a mini ball. It's fired. All right, I'm gonna grab it. Here we go. <laughs> Just laying right on top of the ground. Of course, that's the only way we're going to see them with our eyeballs, isn't it? All right, I don't know how many mini balls. That's only two mini balls so far, but probably what five or six. Can you see it? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have some more soon. There's another one. I want you to pick it out. This is a good area of erosion right here. So, right here. Is it in the screen? <laughs> Way up there. This is probably going to be fired too. I think this was an old firing range or maybe a battle site right here. I'm not sure. Not much patina. I mean, the patina is pretty funky on that one, but that's definitely a Civil War mini ball. That's two within just a couple feet. Hopefully, there's some more. I'm going to do, uh, do you see it? But I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I think it's probably junk. Oh, it's an army man. Look, he's got a pack just like me. Sure enough. That's World War II. <laughs> oh, well. Now, here's a quick can you see it. I'm not going to dawdle because it is not a great find. But looky. Right here. I think that's a fragment of a Civil War mini ball that was fired and probably hit one of the rocks around here and just a piece of it blew off. I thought that might be something. Uh, here's a 22 bullet. That's a modern 22. And I'm just kind of going along looking through these roots. Not really seeing a lot. A little bit of neat glass there, but nothing whole. And one mashed up bullet. I actually dropped the bullet, last bullet I found. <laughs> I'm looking for it, but I'm not going to look too much longer. This is kind of suspicious looking, so let's look at it together. Um, it's kind of a slaty material, so not very hopeful, but I thought it might be uh, some type of projectile or something, but it is not, I, I'm going to guess. Nice old glass down here, though. Look at that. 
That's nice old green glass and um, pieces of other stuff. I've not seen any other relics. Yeah, there's a little bullet. <laughs> I guess that's a relic. It's a 22 bullet. I'm probably shooting squirrels down here. But, you know, I thought I might see some more bullets in there, Civil War stuff, but I'm really not seeing a bunch. Uh, it's getting late in the day, so we'll be scooting soon. I'd like to find one or two more for you. Maybe you'll find one for me if you're watching this video. You see a gold coin, you make sure you let me know, okay? Ooh, that looks dangerous. Look at that thing. Yeah, it was a step on that. That would hurt you, wouldn't it? I don't know what I'm planning to do with it. I'm just going to turn it upside down and step on it. Until the next flood. Ooh, there's an old bottle right there. Look at that. That's not terribly old, but certainly not a Civil War era. But what is it? Little Bo Peep or Little Bo Pee. No, I guess it's Peep. Little Bo Peep Ammonia. That's kind of cute. We'll say that old bottle. Imagine that's probably early 1900s. Keep looking around, keep looking around. Me and you together. I cannot believe we haven't seen another mini ball in here. Oh, there's another bottle. Looks like um, not quite as old. It looks like either somebody smashed or that was just a weird way a rock landed on it. Huh. Little Bo P. I like Bo P better than Bo Peep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an idiot. All right, let's look down here along the bank where it's got some super duper erosion right in these roots and see if we can see something here. And if we don't, let's see, you know, some old bottle tops. I mean, that's not super old, but I'd say the bottle if I found it. It's a whiskey bottle, by the way, the top of it. I'm just kind of really scooting now because I'm uh, losing hope. God, some more glass there. Actually, more glass than I've seen in a while. Some melted stuff there and some... Yeah, we'll find something here in a minute. Let's just stand here, look around, we'll look off in the distance. I can look way out there for bo mini balls. You can kind of see the white, it looks different. Or the gray. Scan really quick. Here, here, here. You see any? That might be one right there. Uh, it's probably a shell, but it may not be because it's gray. See how gray it is? It's right here. Yeah, that's the leaf. Okay. <laughs> Look over there. Look back where we just walked. Don't really see anything. It's like another little army man. Not sure. It's plastic for sure, so it's not old. <laughs> But yeah, Ooh, I'm still not seeing much up in here. I just thought I'd show you that. Let's go down back to where the closer to the water where the er better erosion took place. Doesn't mean we'll find anything. We'll try. You see? There's a lot of little nails right there. The heavy stuff is collecting. It's actually just getting ready to leave and looky. That might be a bottle that's whole, or it could be a broken one. It's just a small one. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's a whole one. That's a pretty little dude. I think we'll keep him. I suspect he's not very ancient, but he's probably older than me. This area here just has a lot of broken bottles in it. I'm thinking that, boy, if we dug down in the sand, if we had just the right spot, we might do pretty good. Some of them look pretty old, but I'm just not seeing... Like a bunch of them sticking out of the ground anywhere. All right, I'm going to walk down here one more time. And uh, I've got a little more searching to do, but not too much more. I thought we'd just do a quick wrap up here. I don't have a ton of stuff. I did pretty good just for the old eyeball today. Um, wonder how, how many of those things did you guys see before I pointed them out? A whole bunch, I hope. This is what I ended up with. You know, I kept a couple bottles. I love the big piece of Indian pottery. We just don't find much of that around here. I think this is going to be really old. I'm not sure if that's off of a musket or not. Got some mini balls. I dropped one that's back there somewhere. And this flashlight. Don't remember if I actually did a, uh, a video clip of me finding this, but it was covered with mud and looked like it had been out there forever. But when I was uh, pulling it out of the bag earlier, I noticed that it was warm. And guess what? 
thing still works. Stream light. It's like a double entendre, isn't it? Found it in the stream. I think it's been out there at least a year, probably. Maybe more, who knows? But uh, that's a great little flashlight right there. So, pretty good, huh? I think so. We'll see you on the next one. Tomorrow we're going to go detecting, I promise you. I got to do that again. I think my arm's a little bit healed now, so. <laughs> I'm pretty rough. We'll see you then. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the 